welcome back to the gear squatch yes yeah, it's a gear squatch one yeah gear squatch channel and i'm zeke and we are on our road to sturgis but on the way there we went by milwaukee wisconsin home of harley davidson and went to the museum i'm gonna show you some of those clips uh some of the cool stuff that I saw in there. I'm not real sure how the audio turned out because the tour guide was a little bit ahead of me and I would have to sneak and like hide behind uh, the tour and talk real quiet like this. But hopefully it picked up. Hopefully you get to see some cool stuff in there. Enjoy it. I'm not at my office. I'm in a RV right now. We've got a trailer and uh, today we're having to make up some time uh so we're having the trailer for across minnesota and then we're gonna hop back on in south dakota and ride more in enjoy the footage of the harley davidson museum and i hope you like it This stuff was pretty cool. The uh, It was a cutaway of the engine showing how they function. It was an older engine on the left, and then it was the new Milwaukee 8 on the right. Let me just show you this. It basically it shows how stable a bike is. So you push it back and forth pretty easily, turn it around. And then when the motor comes on, press the forward button. Gives the sensation of the motor coming on. Figure out where the lens is. And then it shows how stable it becomes the gyroscope. It's pretty pretty cool. You can definitely feel the stability. Alright, so we have a 1906, we've got a 1909, and then a 1911. Not that 1911, but this is still a cool 1911. So, uh, those are cool. They're neat. I can deal with them. But this, serial number one, the first. That's cool. And Chad's here. Anyway. Blueprint of a bicycle engine that William Harley did. That's pretty awesome. I probably shouldn't hold it there too long because then you're going to steal the ideas. guys that started it all, well, at least Harley Davidson. Technically, they didn't start motorcycles. Daimler did that. cool thing about Harley Davidson is they survived the depression and one of the two things that helped them survive the depression was the knucklehead when that came out their sales went through the roof 
the other one is right over here. And it's the survey car and him. He helped him with the survey car. And him, him, that guy. He's hiding with the survey car. So both those helped Harley Davidson survive the depression. The reason for that is, is their sales were down, people couldn't afford motorcycles, but businesses were needing to delivery vehicles. If I can point right. Wait, Chad. I'm touching, <laughs> I'm touching you. It's weird. There, that survey car. Yeah, so businesses were needing those, they bought them, they got their sales up, it helped them a lot. It was really cool. Payback. Me filming you, filming me, filming you. Filmception. Yes. What did you just put in my brain? He, or is there something really dark feeling about one of these first police fairings? It's almost like the Grim Reaper's bike or something like that. It's cool. You would think a gust of wind would just knock you the hell over. Here's one of the original WLAs, the Harley Davidson's. The bike that when everybody was coming back from the war, they wanted a Harley. So, turn them into the brand they are today. Yeah, that's changed. Here's where we get to go behind the scenes. You can, it's not like we're special. You can just pay to get behind the scenes tour. On our right hand side, it looks like a barbecue. It's actually a time capsule, time capsule from Harley Davidson, Japan. Inside there we have vehicle identification numbers from the year 2000 and that was donated to the museum by our dealers in Japan. See where the orange wall is on the right hand side? At the very base of it you're going to see a giant green bomb casing. That's a 500 pound bomb casing. Now during the Vietnam War Harley Davidson did have military contracts to produce bombs for the U.S. military. It's not going to explode or anything so I'll follow. A little bit further down where the orange wall is on the right hand side you're going to see a giant gray freezer. In that freezer we have negatives. These are really photographs of Harley Davidson events. We have about 175,000 negatives from all the way back to the early years of the company. More bicycles here and then we have a scooter. Harley Davidson didn't build those bicycles. Those are from the 70s and 80s. Motorcycle the survey car. And right behind it we have a black motorcycle. You really can't see it. It has a black tarp on it. If you guys are familiar with the V-Rod motorcycle it came out in 2002. What's underneath there is a prototype for that motorcycle six years before the final production in 1996. And the reason why that motorcycle is covered is because it is a prototype motorcycle, all hand carved from clay. And we have to keep a cover on it to protect it with the environment with the lights here. Now the We're going to sneak on out, Bob. I'm going to these guys back to, to g -Lab. How's everybody doing today? Good, 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 good. I almost forgot. This is the part in the video where uh, they talk about the prototypes that they design and how they design them. Those are like the precursors to spiders. Didn't they say they like did them before Spider came out? Like years before? Seven years. Yeah, so way before Spider even came out, like seven years before Harley had done uh, prototype concept. Prototype concept. That's good talking. Is it a good word? Yes. Oh. Prototype concepts. And that's what this video is going to be that you're about to watch right here. Well, we have a design department. We design motorcycles on paper, pencil, but more recently computer design. Once we have some idea of what we're going to build, we build a few motorcycles which are called concept motorcycles. Concept motorcycles is basically a, a marriage of engineering design, basically test motorcycles, and then we'll test them. We have a proving grounds in Arizona. We'll take on on the bump course. Hopefully, you know, the parts fall apart on it. Uh, we test the motorcycle. We also build the concept motorcycles for parts and accessories. So hopefully we can sell additional parts and accessories to our riders. After a concept that goes on a prototype. These are prototype motorcycles in front of us. And after prototype, our marketing department has a last call whether we're gonna make that motorcycle or not. These did not make it, but they're cool looking motorcycles. This orange one here is a 2006 prototype, and one in the middle is a uh, 1989. So this is way ahead of Spider, way ahead. I mean, we have plans on bikes like five, six years from now, so. And now it's time for the AMF years. <laughs> no. So everybody knows that's the dark years of Harley Davidson. Supposedly, that's what people say it was. But the good thing that happened with the AMF years 
is that a lot of money was pumped into Harley Davidson that made Harley Davidson survive. So kind of needed them at the time. So everybody knows about the board track racing, but just to let you know how crazy dangerous it was, this is how steep the banking was on that. So you see me standing straight and you see the angle right there. That's crazy. That's the Elvis bike. Not a fan of Elvis. This one on the other hand, definitely duking out to a little bit. It's the bike from Captain America. The actual bike. And of course, the bike from Terminator 2. I hope I don't even have to say which one that one is. If you don't know what bike that is.